Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. As I promised you last week, this week I'm going to tell you about another very competitive degree the University of Columbia offers. Famously known as IIMB, Immunology and Integrative Molecular Biology is one of the very competitive degrees the science faculty offers. So today, one of my batchmates who did the IIMB degree and now currently studying at UNIST, Ulsan National Institute of Science and Technology, will be talking about her degree and the curriculum and finally what her ideas about this degree are. If you have any questions regarding to any of the degrees the science faculty offers, don't hesitate to put a comment down below and I will try my best to answer all of your questions. Thank you very much. This is about the IIMB program offered by the Zoology Department. IIMB stands for Immunology and Integrative Molecular Biology, which means it contains both the Immunology and Molecular Biology course components. The selection procedure for IIMB program mainly depends on the student's GPA obtained for the Zoology course components in the first two years and also the Biochemistry course the, uh, the chemistry course uh, of the second year and depending on the zoology GPA and the biochemistry course 10 students will be selected for the IIMB program. IIMB is one of the four honors programs offered by the zoology department and this contains uh, coursework and both practical lab work for the both in molecular biology and immunology components. In third year, uh, that is level 3, there are courseworks like immunology and molecular biology, mainly the introduction to the subjects and also there are uh, cellular and molecular physiology and also foundations of molecular ecology, molecular taxonomy and population genetics, genomics, conservation genetics, application and management of genetic resources, immune system and diseases, human molecular genetics, molecular taxonomy, bioethics and practical molecular biology and also practical immunology. Those are the um, courseworks in the first year of the IIMB program, that means the third year. So, most of these courses are two grade courses and courses like bioethics, molecular taxonomy, and application and management of genetic resources are one credit process. And for the molecular biology practical pro practical lab courses, there were two um, field visits that were organized, and in these practical field visits, we got to apply the population genetics parts. And also, there was a bird drinking program, the annual bird drinking program, which was related to practical molecular biology. And also, there were taxonomy related practical components. And in molecular biology, there were um, PCR, cloning, transformation. Uh, based practical practical lab courses and for immunology uh, the first year basically introduced you to the practical components in immunology like um, SDS gel running western blood ELISA and of those immunological applications and in the second year of the immunology practical course we got to apply those techniques into a real research program. Uh, it was 
real research application and it all, it all concentrates every technique that we learned and applying it with troubleshooting and optimizations and in fourth uh, second year of the IME program that is the fourth year in molecular biology practical courses we did uh, genotoxicity assay and uh, along with some other assays like uh, comet assay which was used which is used to detect the DNA damages so this the mostly the second year research second year practical courses are like research questions like small research questions that we have to complete as a group as the 10 students as a group and also most of the our molecular biology coursework closely associated with the new articles and new papers and new knowledge and we get to self-study those to accompany our coursework so that was a really good exposure as I believe and in immunology as well that as much as we get to learn new things and new subject matter the professors are just to uh, look through the uh, available resources in order to fully understand and to fully observe the concepts. Uh, in the fourth year, our the subject courses mainly consisted of molecular immunology, molecular phylogeography and evolution, epigenetics, bioinformatics and functional genomics, molecular and immunotoxicology, molecular medicine, and also again the immunology and molecular biology practical courses and there was a seminar component that we get to present and a presentation related to our research topic and our research area and related to that and there is also another component called guided reading and essay where we get a Actually, it was a common topic for all 40 students or 30 students of the um, who are in the special program uh, or the honors program, and we all get the same questions. And there are common questions that can be answered by every student, and we have to study uh, earlier related to that question and get prepared which is which was a broad topic and then we are given a specific question to answer at the exam so it was a three credit program and it was it was really fun so we get to study new topics and uh, so some are new to us then we get to study it together and it was really fun and there's a research project in the zoology department uh, we could come up with our own research and if the resources and the idea is uh, if it can be done within the department and within our school um, the professors and the professors will um, allow and help us to do that help us to refine the idea and to do our own research project and otherwise uh, we could build our uh, research project with the help of our uh, professors uh, which are in the zoology department and of course in some instances we could get the help and the assistance from other departments as well so this research project is an individual project and each and every student has to come every student completes it within the given period of time 
and there's a proposal presentation at the beginning and this could be changed according to the scenario I believe and then after the uh, completion of the project we submit a dissertation related to our project and then we present our project in a public presentation and that's how our second year of the program is consisted of uh, in my belief IIMB offers a wide array of uh, options for the higher education as for me I basically doing my MSc research in a microbiology related area and it actually doesn't confine you to a specific subject as immunology or molecular biology you can further your research and studies to a related area and area you like which is a really good, good opportunity as I believe and I hope this really helped you